joining Frida is one of Comic-Con's favorite bad boys from Hollywood and Malibu, Stephen Dorff. Um, yesterday, you may have seen some footage from the upcoming Relativity movie, Raven. Tomorrow you may see some footage from the upcoming film Three Musketeers. In a year or two we'll all see The Hobbit, but he's our immortal, he's our Zeus, the great, the wonderful young Luke Evans. Even younger. <laughs> You've seen him with hardly anything on, on billboards all over the world. You, you certainly saw the new footage on Twilight on Thursday. Our Poseidon, the one and only Kellen Lutz. enough good-looking people up here, <laughs> and enough unbelievable talent for which we're very grateful to really have found such cutting-edge talent, and we thank our director and the studio, Tucker Tully and Ryan Cavanaugh, for supporting that as well. Along comes the next Superman, but before he was Superman, he was Theseus, our own immortal of immortals, Henry Cavill. How are you guys doing? Everybody good over there? You good? <laughs> All right. Henry, we'll start with you down at the end. You know, you mentioned the Superman thing. You just flew in for this. So, I didn't need. Well, did you use a plane or? Uh... <laughs> uh, uh, I got paid for this one. <laughs> Uh, you know, there's so many projects uh, out there these days uh, that create fantastic worlds. You know, images take us to other dimensions, other times. Tell us about this one. What What was it about this project and the vision of it that uh, you found most appealing? Um, well, I've always been into uh, the world of ancient Greece and, and certainly the fantasy aspects of this one as well. Uh, Tarsem was the one true element that got me attracted and passionate about the script. Terrific. And Kellen, tell us a little bit about your character. He's the god of wetness and uh, <laughs> moisture. I play Poseidon and I love my character. I'm a fish, I love to swim myself, and he's kind of the fun uncle that Zeus here. He's the salty one, is that he's right? salty one. <laughs> Fantastic. And Luke, Zeus, I mean, that's a tall order to fill. You know, we talked a little bit already about gods being young. Um, how, how do you play Zeus? I mean, is he informed by, does he have an ancient voice, or is he a young man in his voice? Um, no, uh, we left the ancient voice to John Hurt. <laughs> you can't really speak like John. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, it's a, it was a difficult one. It was a challenge. Um, uh, we, we're used to seeing Zeus as a, an old man. He's always been portrayed by older actors. So this was a new, uh, a new slant on, on the role. But like Tarsem said, you know, if you were a god, you'd want to be young and in your prime of your life, you wouldn't want to be old and... Like Mark Kant. Like Mark Kant, exactly. Yes. So, uh, yeah, that, that, was a, that was a challenge, but it was, it, was, it was fun to play and take on the role of a, you know, king of the gods and all, all the other things that Zeus uh, encompasses. That's great. And Stephen, you know, with a movie with characters of this size and scale, it's easy to get lost between you know, uh, your character is the one that maybe the audience might connect to the most in a way, don't you think? Uh, yeah, Mr. Stavros is a, is a slave, you know, he uh, meets Theseus on a slave train and ultimately de decides he could be on his own with what's happening in the world or he can join forces with, with the group and uh, it only helps that Frida Pinto's character is in that mix because I think Stavros is a bit horny as well. And, um, and the rest is the rest. That's great.